Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we are continuing our upgrades on this 2023 Ford Bronco and we're going to be installing these Rough Country suspension tow hook brackets that we're going to use for flat towing this Bronco behind a motorhome. Uh, what we're going to do is uh, basically mount these back into the factory location where the other tow hooks already are. We have our intercooler brackets that are going to mount on these before we install this. Uh, we have our mounting hardware and we have our new D-rings that we're going to attach those once we get finished. So we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna open up our package for our hardware. And when we're putting these brackets on, these are universal, but these intercooler mount brackets are not. So the passenger side has a slot here and the driver's side is perfectly round. Uh, another way is just remember this flat spot goes forward and you'll still be in the right direction. So here we have the passenger side already assembled and now we're gonna do the driver's side. So it's pretty basic. You've got your bolt, you got your flat washer that's gonna go through. And then on the back side, we've got this flange nut. And I can't really, can't really show you that there, but it just lines up. All right, then we take our next one. Put that in there. And we're just gonna tighten this up. Uh, these instructions don't tell us whether or not we need them tight. Doesn't tell us what position we need this in. Uh, it gives us some nice pictures, but it doesn't really go into detail as far as what we need to do here. So we're just gonna assume that it's gonna mount flat and then we're gonna tighten this up. If we need to change it later, I'll let you know. And uh, if you're ever wondering what kind of power these little Milwaukee M12 fuel nut drivers have, uh, it's got enough to snap this supposedly grade eight bolt. No, it's not grade eight, grade five. They just painted it black. So instead of wondering if we stress those other bolts with this nut driver, we just went ahead and swapped these out for some known grade eight bolts. So um, got the driver's side there. We're gonna swap this out on the passenger side now. All right, there we go. So now that we got that on there, I feel a lot better about that. And uh, everything else is using the same factory hardware that we're pulling off. So I'm not gonna have to worry about that one. So those are assembled. We're gonna go ahead, we're gonna drop the gravel guard underneath, pull the old tow hooks off and start putting everything back into its new position. Woo! All right, we're gonna take this gravel guard off using 15 millimeter. It's just gonna drop these off. I think there's one, two, three, four, five, six bolts. I love it. I love all the mud falling on my face. All right. I am not sponsored by Milwaukee, but man, those drills do a great job of speeding things up. So Milwaukee, if you're listening, I would love to review your products. All right, so now we're here at the front. We need to pull these tow hooks off. So we're gonna take these little rubber grommets off of here. And we're gonna be saving this hardware. We're gonna be using this. So I need to grab an extension. We're gonna pull these off. All right, so we're just gonna do these one at a time because this is holding up the intercooler. Um, so again, just added an extension and this Milwaukee that is cracked out. I mean, look at that. It's a big old frame bolt. It's just ripping them out. All right, so now that that's there, you can see slotted. So I'm gonna go match it with the slotted. All right, so we're gonna take these bolts here and I can actually put that one partially in on the back. And there's a notch here and it holds that into place. So if it doesn't fall on me and knock out my teeth. I like those teeth. All right, now I'm gonna need a longer extension to get into these ones. All right, passenger side done. We're gonna move over to the driver's side. All 
All right, and then I'm just gonna come back through here and double check that I'm tight enough. Make sure I don't have any movement. All right, those are good. So you can see those bolts up in there and you can see that slot that I was talking about. So that just holds everything up in place. Okay, we're gonna go out and we're gonna continue putting stuff together. Okay, now we've got those tool brackets in place. Uh, now it's time for us to run our wiring. So we have already ran our flat four wiring uh, from the rear up here to the front. You can check that out in uh, another video. And now we're gonna be running this up behind the bumper and tying it into our wiring that we've already ran. And then we're gonna be screwing this into place. So this is just a mounting bracket for a flat four uh, that we picked up at AutoZone. I'm sure you get these at uh, any auto parts warehouse or uh, you know, even on Amazon. So uh, check those out, but we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna put this in. All right, now before we run our wiring, just uh, we're gonna put some heat shrink on here because we're gonna run some anti-chafe on here. Uh, it's gonna be going past a lot of brackets, a lot of vibrations and all that other stuff. So we just wanna make sure that we get that on there and it's as protected as possible. Um, in the future, we might be doing an RV uh, seven pin if we change the bumper out, um, you know, and then who knows, maybe that'll be another video, but here we are now. So there it is, all nice and clean. And uh, now it's time to run this up through the grill and we're gonna tie this into our old wiring. So the plan is, we're gonna pull this cover off here and the plan is to mount this right in here like this. Okay, so we need to route our wire back through here. without messing with these louvers. So I'm just gonna come through here with this and then bring this back up over the frame on the inside. So we've got that down there where we want it to go. So just slowly gonna bring this back up. So on this bracket here, you can see these dimples. And so I'm gonna use this and they're gonna be flush right up against this. Just gonna go in here. I've got some coarse thread stainless steel screws that I'm gonna use and they should bite pretty well into that plastic. And there we go, got that all mounted nice and tight. All right, so we got some marks made here. We're gonna notch this out. And um, obviously if you have like fog lights or anything down here, you might have a little bit of a different setup or you might not have to do this with these because there should be plenty of room. Perfect, like it was made for it. So here we are, we got all of our wire ran, got it all put up out of the way. We've got both ends here and we're just gonna connect our colors. And we're gonna do that using these spade connectors here. Um, we don't want to hardwire these in or make anything that's permanent in case we do uh, change our bumpers out or maybe in the future we're flat towing a little more and we decide to add one of those RV7 pins. So uh, this gives us a service point and uh, I'm just gonna wire all this up. And that's it, so not a lot to it. We had already ran that wire in another video so uh, that saved us a lot of time. Um, basically all that it was is just mocking everything up trying to figure out where you want it. I have to put that gravel guard back on, but it's gonna go back exactly the way that it came off. Uh, the only difference is the Rough Country tow hooks now have a nut that I just have to hold on the backside. So uh, I don't really figure there's much point in showing you how to do that. Uh, it's just kind of opposite of removal. Um, but if you found it useful, make sure you hit that like button. And if you haven't done so yet, make sure you subscribe. You can check out all the other videos we've been doing uh, while upgrading this 2023 Ford Bronco. Um, I'm gonna put that playlist together. You can see them down below. And, uh, and just make sure you check those out. All right, everybody, as always, thanks for watching. I'll catch you on the next one. Yeah.